Hello everybody, welcome back. C Ray Tech here. Uh, it is very, very, very cold today. <laughs> We've got a wind chill of about negative six, but I have Beta 75S. So let's take this out for a spin, see what it can do. All right, guys, it is eight degrees today. A little bit of snow. I'm not sure if you can see it. You can see a little flurries. All right, let's uh. Let's get some flying going. All right guys, welcome back. We've got the Beta 75S today. So this bad boy, as you can see here, I'll back my camera up just a little bit. Sorry for the shaky camera. But yeah, here we are, the Beta 75S. So the Beta 75S comes with the new 550 milliamp hour battery. Um, if you caught my review, this will give you a solid five minutes of flight on the Beta 75. Um, I just pulled this out of the box. And as you can see previously, I was outside and it is super, super, super cold. So I flew for about 45 seconds. Uh, it was just a little bit too windy. I was uh, fighting it a little bit too much. So I'll go ahead and throw that footage in so you guys can see it. Um, I think today's forecast said it was about, let's see what we got here. Yeah, this is my forecast right now. So we got like 10 mile an hour gusts, which I could definitely feel those when I was trying to fly, but negative four wind chill. It is cold, 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 cold today. So. How much flying is going to be done outside, but let's get back to this bad boy. Alright, so um, first things first, big difference. We've got 820 motors. Uh, I believe these are 14,000 kV. Give me a second, I will bring up the specs. <laughs> 75S. See how this says 8 by 20 millimeter motors. These aren't eight and a half, these are eight by 20 millimeter motors. And these are indeed uh, 14,000 kV. These are utilizing the same uh, 41 millimeter props, or I'm sorry, 40 millimeter props that were on the Beta 75. This frame may be, I'm not 100% sure, but it may be strong, stronger than the 75. I mean, this thing feels definitely more rigid. And I tell you what, the Beta 75 frame is by far the strongest, most rigid um, plastic whoop frame that I've been able to find. So this one, yeah, still really stiff. This is about the same. In fact, it feels like the sidewalls of the ducts are a little bit thicker. I'm not sure. I don't have a set of calipers to check, but they do feel thicker and they don't have as much of bounce to them. So this is the FR Sky version, I um, believe, uh, yep, OSD version 1.1, hopefully you guys can see that, let me get in there, will it focus, there we go, version 1.1. This one I also, I took the canopy off of it to check it out to see how they did the camera because I'm always curious on how their putting theirs together because each one's been a little bit different I've seen them take the foam battery insert and cut it and add it to around the camera here for padding and I think to kind of stabilize it so that there's no vibrations I've seen them um, add a pad below the Z01 I've seen them not have a pad below the Z01 I've seen multiple different ways so I always like to open this up to take a look and to my Surprise. Well, not really surprised, but I was uh, happy to see that they've got the Z01 camera mount clip in here. So this thing's really cool. If you take a look at it, it sets the uh, camera, or the VTX, nice and level above the flight controller. So you still have your nice 20 degree angle on the camera, but you don't have to worry about, in a crash, this bending back on the pins that are used back here. Another thing too I noticed is they are using the 
connection method that I used on the 65Fs. Um, if I look at the Beta 75 that I got from them, I think that they directly wired it in. So like I said, they're, they're, they do things a little bit differently on each one of these. So I always like to take a look because, I mean, they're the manufacturer, so they know what they're doing. So if they have a method that they're using and I'm not, I definitely want to check that out. So yeah, so here's the difference, look. So here's the 75 with OSD, and as you can see here we've got the video in and out directly wired to the board. Now this is the DSMX version here, but pin layout and everything's still the same. Here we've got the new clip-in for the Z01 camera. They're using the pigtail to be able to connect these, which is cool, because I mean, they can just unplug it and walk away. I want to say... That's really the only difference between these two, but... I like that. Much more protected here. Um, like I said, you're not going to you're not going to worry about pretty much this happening. So it'll pop this right out, which, as you can see, has happened on mine. But this one's nice and strong. This one's not going anywhere. It's held down in the front finally. Good stuff. Very very good stuff, Beta FPV. Greatly appreciate these improvements that you're making because this is going to help these last a little bit longer in the air. Because I mean, these things take a lot of abuse, and a lot of people tend to forget that. You're taking a hunk of plastic with electronics in it, and you're hurling it around the air. And <laughs> I'm not a perfect pilot by any means, so as much as I'm uh, screaming through the air, I'm just as much slamming into stuff. So, I mean, these things take a lot of abuse. So these little tweaks that they're making to these builds, I believe it's going to help really s save a lot of these components, because... I remember in the beginning when I first started doing this, flying these little guys, frames broke all the time. That was my biggest concern. And now it's more so the components and the electronics, which is something that I didn't I didn't think it was going to go that way back then. I thought that, you know, frames were just going to be very disposable, but then I ran into Beta FPV and I started seeing their stuff and man, their frames are so strong and their props are pretty good and I mean their canopies um are really affordable. They are, they're not quite as durable as some of them out there that I've seen, but they're pretty good. But yeah, Beta 75S. Definitely check this out. Um, I'll have all the specs listed. I'll have them show up right here so you guys can see all those. And then I'm going to cut away to some flight footage. Like I said, it was really cold outside. I only got to fly for about 45 seconds, but um, I'll definitely have some videos coming up very soon showing it indoors, and hopefully I can get a day with some better weather, weather so I can fly it outside. So yeah, stay tuned for the flight footage. I hope you guys have a good one. I uh, really appreciate everybody watching. I hope everybody had a great uh, 2017, and I'm really, really happy and excited for uh, 2018. So uh, if you could go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell, that would be great. That way you can stay notified on any new videos and content coming out. But yeah, I think that's going to be all for me today. So as always, guys, fly safe and fly often.